Hello guys, my name is Ecosta and for today's video we're going to be looking at Python development um, but today we're going to be looking at doing a project surrounding a revision quiz um, multiple choice qu uh, questions on different subjects for students but in this occasion we're not going to be working with files or we're not going to be hard coding these questions we're going to be using database uh, a database and we're going to be using is mysql as a database language to be able to communicate uh, we use to communicate the database and python together so before we can begin there are a few things that you're going to need now your first you're going to need is a database server you can either pay for one online or you can try and get a free one. I've got over here a free one at Gearhost. There are other websites also available to get free SQL servers. Um, you don't need to have a, a web server, uh, a database server uh, on the web. You could just have one on your own machine. It will be called localhost. It won't have it won't have a website like this. It will just be your localhost machine. Um, also, what you're going to need is you're going to need is MySQL Workbench. This will allow you to actually interact with that database. So, if you wish to add any tables or any data, uh, you'll need to download MySQL Workbench. And for it to be able to communicate with Python, there are many different options. MySQL does provide its own uh, module over here uh, called the Connector. It's available also in different languages now. Word of warning for this is that the stable releases have not released for my version, the version that I use, which is 3.6 over here. I've had to download the 3.4 version. There are there is a uh, module available for, for 3.5, but since they're development releases, they are not stable uh, releases yet. They're still, I guess, work in progress. Um, once you have all that, you should be sorted. Now. Um, if you're using Gearhost, to create the database, you'll need to go onto databases, into a click on create a database, and you're going to select the, the MySQL database, the free one, which does limit you. Um, unless you want to pay $5 a month, you can get more storage and uh, better scalability, apparently. MySQL, then you just put in over here the name of the database and click on create empty database, and it creates it for you. Once you have a database created, so load. There's one of here. I'll just like this one of here. Okay. I call my own Python quiz. Once you've got that um, all done, uh, you'll be presented with this screen. And in this screen, it'll just go through the database server. It'll tell you here your username and the password. The password I've changed it. Uh, but if you click on this button over here, you'll show your password. I can show you my password, you know, and there's not going to be any uh, personal data that's going to be shown. You could you can mess around with my database if you, if you like, but no trolling. Actually, I might, I might restrict. <laughs> anyway, it's not it's not um, there's not going to be any personal information, so it's fine. Um, over here, you'll be able to add new users, but I know you have to pay five dollars a month to add the new user, so there you go. Now, once you've got your uh, database done, you should head over to your MySQL Workbench, add over here a new SQL connection, your connection I'm just going to call this Python Quiz, now the host name I'm going to put over here the, the server as the host name, the username is going to be over here Python Quiz, now I'm going to put over here, um, if we'll just come on, copy over here the password, store in vault, that's the password, and I guess we can test the connection, now, I don't know what port it uses, but it seems it was it was able to actually make it successful, successful with port 3306, and the website doesn't tell me the port, so I just left it as the default, and that seems to have worked, okay, the connection seems to have worked, so it's fine, um, so just double click and we'll open up to the uh, SQL editor. So here, here is the uh, MySQL workbench, and over here you've got is a skimmer, the Python quiz, and we have we do not have any tables. Now we need to create a table, and for this table we're going to call it questions, or the question table, I guess. Actually, we're going to, yeah, we're going to call it a question. 
ID, we're going to give an ID. It's sure, it can be an int, whatever. Uh, don't know what. Uh, well, int, int's better. Uh, you could have, you could have, uh, uh, you could have a uh, list of the alphabet as being for the ID. That's fine. We're going to put, um, I'm going to put over here zero fill. I like to have zero fill on, and I also like to have is um, kind of the auto increment as well. That should also be on. And let's limit this to being, there's not going to be many questions, but let's just put two for now. The default is eight, but we can always just expand that. I believe the default is eight. Question, question, whatever, yeah, question, varchar. I'm going to say 255. You could just put as text as well, but over here, but we'll leave it as Varchar for now. We'll just leave it as Varchar for now. Um, let's make it unique. We don't want diff we don't want duplicates of these um, questions. We'll put over here um, option A. And okay, maybe this okay, maybe we'll, this time we'll limit it to 45 for this one. Um, now the question is do we want to make that unique? I don't think so. No. I think you can have some options which can be the same but apply for different questions. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to leave it uh, as uh, um, by, uh, by itself, like that. Nothing selected. I'm going to say the correct option. And then over here, the correct option will just simply be one character because it's just, you know, ABC. Don't want that. Don't want this kind of. Delete select um, because that's just ABC. Actually, it's not going to be a VAR chart. Actually, no. Make that. Um, you make that. Not a VAR chart. Do you have a enum? You make an enum. Yeah, which is a, it's, it's essentially a list. It can only be one of these. A, B, C, or D. Of course, we could expand it to have these um, different uh, options. We could go. I don't know. Although it's option F more options, but the classical way is to, you know, is to just have um, four options, A to D. We apply the changes, so over here, this is, so what's nice about MySQL Workbench is it pr actually provides you the code that you would use, the MySQL code that you would use to actually create this, that's quite nice, that actually does that for you. Uh, apply, it's executed successfully, that's great. Now. Over here, oh, I need to click on the right buttons, not the wrong ones. Here, this button right over here uh, appears this screen, and this screen is where you, you, know, you can actually input uh, some data there. You can import, you can actually type it up over here, you can import it, but what we'll also be doing in a future episode is actually um, importing is actually uh, uh, important questions that we have up in the Python program onto MySQL. So with all of this, um, so with all of the of the tables done, I guess we might we might try out a question. Now this program which we might want to try as a computer science question. Um, I'm trying to think of one. <laughs> um, What is one zero one in decimal? Is it one five or what should I say? Is it seventeen or is it four? Oh yeah, crowd option D. Apply. Insert into. Yes, and it automatically did the ID. Although it did automatically pass zero zero. Oh, if we try another question. We can check to see if the if the ID is working. Um what's another question? Um Trying to think of another question. Uh, 
Can't say, but I can't say. No, um, oh, this is probably programming language as well. <laughs> Some of these could be programming languages. I don't know. There's many. What was the error? Duplicate entry. Okay, so there's an issue with uh, the primary key. Damn it. There's an issue with the, what's wrong with the primary key. I did put this, hold on. Put this as a, plus incrementing. Why did that get turned off? I swear to not, I, I clicked on that button. I definitely clicked on that button. I know I did. Let's put that as zero one, because that's what it should be. Let's now apply. Yeah, now it's zero two. Oh yeah, and I've got the correct hold on B. Let's update that and it tells you over here this is what you have to do. You have to say update Python quiz dot question. That that that's the same here is um this is the database and this is the table. Um set correct option is equal B where ID is equal to two. Yeah. Okay, apply, finish. Good. So that seems to be working. So That'll be it for this video. In the next video, we're going to actually be looking at actually setting up all this now in Python and being able to actually communicate with the database. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if so, put a like button and subscribe so you get a notification when, when the next video is live. And see you guys next time. Goodbye.